Hello guys, like I said in my last video, I was going to share with you the vaccination and treatment process of the pigs after they move into the barn. Understand that pigs or any animals at all, they get sick just like human beings and they just don't heal themselves. There are products on the market that are needed for their treatments. Some people will tell you this is not a best practice or whatever. If you're getting into animal raising, this is one of the things that you need to keep in mind. Ask yourself questions. Why do animals die from sickness? Because they get sick, right? And there is a treatment for them. That's why people go to school to become a vet to treat animals. If you fall into this distortion where people want to convince you that you don't need to treat animals especially when you're raising them well good luck if, especially if you are intending to do it in a commercial level keep in mind you will need to hire a vet and those animals will need to be treated just like us human beings there are certain time and seasons throughout the year that brings allergies that brings a lot of different diseases right what do we do we go to a doctor we get vaccinated or we seek treatments animals are no different than human beings when it comes down to that i have shared with you how special pigs are when you raising pigs you have to keep in mind that these animals request or require a lot they require a lot of attention so you as animal farmer if you're not giving them the kind of attention that they deserve trust me it will be disastrous so you don't want to see that happen I made sure I bring the vet back onto the farm so he can treat animals. And that's exactly what he's doing in this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. As I am sharing with you my journey as an animal farmer back in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Keep in mind everything we are doing here on this channel, it only has one purpose, which is to encourage a lot of you out there who are willing to invest in agriculture, animal raising, or any other thing at all, as long as you are planning to go back to the motherland to do it. The motherland, I'm talking on behalf of Africans living in a diaspora who are willing to go back to Africa to invest. But if your motherland happens to be in Europe, so you go ahead and do what you got to do. If your motherland happens to be in America, you go ahead and do that. If your motherland happens to be in Latin America, do whatever it is or wherever you feel at home. For my case, it is in the Democratic Republic of Congo. For all of my viewers who are planning on doing the exact same thing, you are encouraged to do so. If you need some advice or if you need some directions on how I acquired the land and I got started, Make sure you reach out to me and we will discuss that even further. Ladies and gentlemen, I always appreciate you coming back to watch my video. Stay tuned since I'm going to be sharing a lot more information throughout this video. I'll see you in the next clip. I've shared with you before that electricity and water are one of the major problems that I have on my farm. I purchased the solar panel so that they have ways to charge their phones. I purchased cell phones so we have a uh, mean of communication with them. That's why I got all of these devices. And you are looking at the sprayer. It's basically this uh, piece of equipment that I had to purchase because running a pig farm, you will need to clean and disinfect your barn every now and then. And these serves a great purpose because we don't want animals getting bacteria or getting illness, not knowing where they're coming from. This is where this comes in handy. It's a really a necessary tool that every farmer should have on their farm. And ladies and gentlemen, 
this is animal waste that we are collecting because we are going to be growing crops not for commercial purposes of course but we will need to have a variety of stuff happening on the farm and animal waste serves a great purpose so that's the reason why we are collecting those and hopefully when we start planting different things so we have that available right there Keep in mind, everything in agriculture is very important, including animal waste. I will get into more details as why it is very important in a separate video. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I will gladly share that with you guys and do more research so that I make a more informed video for you to enjoy. You guys know that in our last video, I had shared with you why I needed to get these animals vaccinated. Due to the fact that when I invited the vet, the vet showed up after I moved the animal onto the pig barn. He immediately um, noticed that some of the pigs were sick. But because this is the protocol, since they were removed from the original farmer and you have no idea how that farm is maintained, you have to make sure you get them vaccinated so that you prevent other sicknesses from hitting your barn. And that's the purpose behind the vet coming back onto the farm and making sure the animals are vaccinated. So please stick around to the end of the video as I share with you more information on how the pig feeds have been effective after almost a month since I relaunched the pig barn. Stay tuned. When you're running a pig barn, always keep in mind that your biggest investment should be in animals treatments and animals feed. When you are providing them with the feed necessary to guarantee their rapid growth and also hire a vet to treat them accordingly, you are making sure when it's time for you to collect, you don't have no problem. Because keep in mind, there are regulations out there. It may not seem that they do not control, but trust me, they do. When you take your pig to places where they sell them, they ask you all of these other questions. Were their pig vaccinated? Were they taken well care of? Because keep in mind, if you take your animal to the market and you sell them, they have some sort of pest or whatever, and then eventually people consume them, and next thing you know, a disease breaks out. You don't want that. You wouldn't want that for your family. And if you're running an animal farm, you shouldn't really um, slack off when it comes down to taking care of your animal. You always want to make sure that they're vaccinated at a timely manner and they are well maintained health wise because the way that's going to benefit you is that people will speak positively about your farm people will recommend your products people will want to buy from you but if you are not taking care of these things and then eventually it backfire you may go out of business or even worse animal feed is very important before when i started I didn't know anything about animals feeds other than the two products that I was using. And back then it used to cost me somewhere between 50 bucks. Now I just realized that even then I, they were overcharging me just because I was not on the ground. Food for thought. Every time you're doing business in Africa and you find yourself in a position where you are capable to fly down there to oversee everything, do not hesitate to go ahead and do that. Because all of the products that I have shared with you and the animals feeds that I have brought onto the farm from last time when they moved the pigs in, all of the stuff that you have seen, if you didn't get a chance to watch the video, I will recommend to go check out one of my last videos that I have released. It all together cost me 80 bucks. $80 is enough to give them enough feeds to get them through between two up to even three months. They still have enough food, enough feed available to get them through the next couple of, uh, the next month or so. So you guys, it's very necessary to pick the right feeds for your animals. Genetic uh, and, and, and pig breeds is very, very necessary when you are starting a pig barn. 
but also remember you may have the best uh, um, genetics or, 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 or breeds out there but if you don't have the right products the right feed trust me the growth you're looking for so your animals are ready for the market it is not gonna come any faster trust me and one thing that my team has shared with me and this was brought to my attention when they originally went to purchase pigs to bring them back to the farm is that the feeds that they were consuming from their original uh, farm it worked eff effectively to the point where a three or four months old pig is way heavy it's heavy as heck it may look small to your eyes but when you go to pick it up man 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 now guess what all of these factors are taken into account when you are selling your animals when you are ready to sell i am not intending to sell my animals anytime soon i will be considering that maybe a year after or maybe two years into the project because my concern is that these animals developed and reached maturity age where they can reproduce and see the growth that's what i want i'm not in a rush to sell no animals at this point because keep in mind because keep in mind if you're becoming greedy when you are doing animal raising or any business at all it leads to failure because you will be more concerned about making profits rather than making sure of the quality of what you are uh, providing to the people, right? So it's very, very necessary to consider all of these things before even you go into any business at all. It doesn't necessarily have to be within agricultural sector or anything like that. You understand what I'm saying? Guys, I am very, very excited that I was able to accomplish my t my goal this year. So the next project's coming up, it is going to be poultry farming. I have been discussing this length, I will have been having lengthy discussions with my team what we need to do as we're starting the poultry farming. The last decision I personally had taken is that I don't want to get all excited to start the bigger projects right away. I am going to start smaller and work my way up. I already know this will work out because I've raised chicken before and I know the excitements that I got um, every single day, uh, whether I was in school or I was at home, it was just so mesmerizing seeing those chicken reproduce and see them multiply day after day and i'm probably going to get that same feeling except this time we're going to diversify different birds it's not going to be chicken only we have turkeys in there we'll have um you know ducks and many other animals in there and eventually we'll move on to you know um you know different different animals i'm talking about rabbits and all that all right you guys Make sure to hit the like button if you're getting some values in this video. And don't forget to keep those alerts turned on for when I release the next video, you are notified. And also subscribe. I'll see you soon. In addition to animal feeds, I also have other expenditures outside of the pig barn that I have to worry about. I have two employees that are permanently staying on the farm and making sure the pigs are well taken care of and the premises are well maintained. And these individuals also are human beings who cannot spend their money to eat every day and that responsibility falls upon me. I have to make sure they have something to eat on a daily basis. That's why every month towards the end, I have to make sure my guys go over there, bring them food and make sure they have something to eat. Because the last thing I want is getting a phone call, somebody complaining that we've been working all day and there is not enough food and we don't, we're not eating. Listen, I do not want to put myself in such a situation because if you do, 
keep in mind you will always run into problems you will have issues with where people stealing from you people are not doing the job the way they should and not always bring dramas here and there which is something you need to stay away from Thank you.